So I'm going to be showing you a recipe for a spelt-based blackberry gorgonzola walnut and kale pizza. Now, you might think it's a bit weird to put blackberries on pizza, but when they're in season, why not play around with using them as, a, as an interesting topping? We've got a, a lovely creamy, salty blue cheese base, which is made from creme fraiche and gorgonzola, and that works really, really nicely. And then there's gorgeous kale on there as well. Kale in different colors. I've got red, green kale, you can get purple kale, and what you've got is all those lovely colors looking fantastic on, on the pizza. So the kale, the walnuts, the gorgonzola and the blackberries all melding together. It's a really interesting, very balanced dish. So while there is an overnight stage involved in making the pizza dough, you can basically put all the ingredients together and leave it to do its thing, then make the final dough, let it prove. But when it comes to baking off the dough, it's really, really quick to do. So once you've got your dough ready, you can get these pizzas together in about 15 minutes. It doesn't really take very long at all. I've used spelt flour because spelt is an ancient grain. It's actually a little bit more easy to digest than other flours because it's got a unique gluten structure. But more importantly for me, it's got a beautiful nutty flavor and that again, works really really well with those blackberries. One of my big tips would be when you're making the dough to really feel your way with that because it depends on what the environment's like and the humidity in the air. This is quite a wet dough for a pizza and that's what makes it really nice and springy and airy and kind of lovely and chewy. Um, I sometimes find it helpful to have a bowl of water on the surface with me when I'm rolling out the dough just to keep my hands wet just to help handle the dough um, and always have a little pile of flour as well to the side to help you. You can find Driscoll Sweet Black blackberries in the premium ranges of most supermarkets. Don't bother chopping up the blackberries, leave them whole because they look really beautiful.